Hey guys, it's Triggs, and it is finally the weekend, and I'm sorry for not uploading this past week. It's uh, It was my first week of school, so just getting back into things. So um, I thought I'd do a tutorial, and I also want to say that definitely look for two videos a week now. I'm going to be trying to get up a speed art every week and a tutorial. And I'm um, also at 500 subs. Um, look forward to the graphics pack, and it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a little bit different than any of the graphics pack you see. It's going to have more... um templates some cinema 4d stuff so yeah it'll be really cool and i hope you guys will enjoy that so for this tutorial i thought i'd do something um that really looks clean simple and really makes your backgrounds like really professional and this is this um bar in the middle here that i have uh created now it's more like it's like an interface bar and it just creates um really cool like effect and you can put your name in the middle and put links on the side just so people can um go to your websites easier so, to start it off, we're just going to um, open up a template, and um, I'll have the template, template download in the description, uh, like I always do, so that you guys can um, just uh, follow along. Now, when you open up your template, for the background, we want to have um, just a solid color, and you're going to want to pick a darker color. So, I want to do um, a blue like I usually do. Now, pick... Uh, a darker blue for the actual background and we're just gonna fill that uh, yeah we'll make it a little bit darker though we're just gonna fill that in with a paint bucket and then um, after you got that done go up to your modules and um, just make those a brighter color so we can just see what we're doing so just go to color overlay and we'll just make them um, uh, gray now um, make a new layer on top of your background Go to the rectangle tool, and then make a rectangular box around your modules. Now, after you get that done, the reason why we did this is because um, we need to be able to disting distinguish uh, where it ends and stuff. So, we're going to make that, and then go to, your, go to it, click your color overlay, and then just choose the background color, and then just drag it up a bit. So, that looks good. Just add um, a little bit of outer glow. Just add um, black. Change it to overlay. Put the size to 20. And put opacity at 50. So um, that's all we're going to do for that. Then um, um, now you're on your module layer. And when you're um, on there, just zoom in so you can see what's uh, going on. And then we're going to go back to the rectangle tool. And go above your module layer so you can see where you're going to put the interface bar. And then just drag. And you don't want it too big, but you want it big enough so you can um, see everything. So that looks good. Now just rasterize that layer. Right click, rasterize. And just center that up. Alright. And then you can just adjust it with your arrow keys. Now, on this layer, go to gradient overlay. On the left side, you're going to want to pick your background color and then just drag it up a little bit brighter. Then in the middle, go again to the background color. Now drag it up a little bit more than you did before. And then on the right, again with the background color and just drag it up a little bit. And so now you already have the nice rounded effect on it. Now, of course, we have to add like a little bit more shadow to it. So add an outer glow, do the black. Set it to normal this time. Set it to 50%. And you can keep the size at 5. And you can add a stroke if you want. I um I usually don't add a stroke. And then we're also going to add um a pattern. Well, we, you can add a pattern if you want, but you're going to have to change the gradient to um, our actual gradient from the tool. So we're not going to add a pattern to this one, just so you guys can see what's going on. So after you have that done, that's pretty much the base of the effect. Now you can hide that module layer and you can see what it looks like. So if you need to make any modifications, you can make them uh, now. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create your text. And um, pick just a clean font. I'm going to do Agency FB. I just love that font. I use it all the time. And um, just choose, we'll do size 8. And make just adjust it to the size that um, will fit in the bar. And I'm just gonna type it. I'm just gonna type in Triggs HD. 
designs. Sorry, I'm typing one-handed. And um, just drag that, and we're just going to center that. And go to that um, layer styles on there. Go to gradient. And go to the left side. Then choose the color of your background. Go to the right side. Choose the color. Drag it up a little bit. That looks perfect. Then go to an outer glow. Make sure it's on normal. Change it to black. Opacity 50. Size of 8. And um, we're actually going to lower the opacity down to 20. Just so we can see it better. Alright, that looks good. I'm just going to change the gradient to a little bit. Just a little bit darker right here. So you can see the text a little easier. Alright, that's perfect. Okay, so that's um the text for that. Now, if you want to add links, I would just say um, uh, copy that layer, Control J, and then just highlight it with your text tool, and then just bring the size down quite a bit. I'd say size twelve, and then we'll we'll just type in um my Deviant Art. We'll do um Triggs HD dot Deviant Art dot com. And then just to get those um lined up good. And then you can just put another link on the other side. And um if you want to add the icons, I'll make sure to put a download link in the descri description for that. And um those are really easy to find by the way. And you can just add in um the DeviantArt logo, Twitter Twitter logo, Machinima, uh the Fix T store, anything like that, whatever you want. Um you can just find them on Google, get type in um the like a logo and then the P PNG. And then um, that creates that. So uh, hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you out. Hope you learned something. Hope you'll continue to watch my videos. And definitely look forward to the 500 subscribers GFX pack. That'll be coming out soon. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed that because it had a lot of cool stuff. So make sure to download my toolbar. Follow me on Twitter. Please drop a like on this video. And um, comments are always um, like, uh, uh, what I suppose, uh, comments always welcome. And tutorial requests are welcome so um thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace